Hi there. So first of all, I want to start with a question, and a question for those who get out of body or have lucid dreams. When you're out or you're having a lucid dream, what are some of the places that you create? And do you go to the worlds that are already created? Let's say from movies and video games and stuff like that. If you do, please share your experiences down in the comments so that those who wonder about this stuff will get a different perspective after they read your experience. Anyway, this whole video is about what are the possibilities of getting out of body? I've been asked a lot of questions on like, what can you do? What can you create? Can you go into the worlds like, like you say from movies or video games or anime? Can you shift perspectives and all that? Well, my answer is like, yes, you can do a whole lot. And it's actually like really amazing because like over here in the physical, we're pretty much limited with like, oh, you know, you, if you want to watch a movie, you want to play a game and you're like, I wish I could go there. And the thing is, you can, if you get out of body, if you learn how to get out of body, you can always go to any kind of world you want and have any kind of experience you want. And for me, that's amazing because if you are a fan of some TV series or movies or video games or anime, whatever it might be, even a music video or something, if you have something where you're like, I wish I could be in that world, you can. If you get out and you just think of that place and put yourself in intentionally, you can just you know teleport there and even better, you can be the main character, like, uh, let's say from a video game like Mass Effect, you can be Jack Shepard or Jane Shepard, you can be Garrus, you can be some uh, movie main hero, like, I'm not a big movie person, like, I don't know how that much, like, if I'm lucky, it's gonna be four movies a year, if I'm lucky, so let's say Neo from Matrix or uh, Maximus from Gladiator, I'm not that much on movies, so I don't know the characters. Um, you know, like video games and, and movies and TV series, like whatever you can think of. And the best thing about, about the whole thing is that you can be the main character, you can be any kind of character from the series, or you can be yourself, you can customize how you're going to look like, and and then you can move your perspective from the first person, so you're seeing like everything like, oh, look, okay, I see my hands and stuff, but you can move your perspective like third perspective, I mean first third person perspective. So you're gonna have your camera like right here, and you're gonna see your back, and you you can move around like that, like like just in video games or some other places. It's like it's really amazing with what you can create. And so for me, I've been in like worlds where it's it's like out of anime, like Dragon Ball series. Like I've been in, in the Planet Namek, or I'm not sure if I'm saying this right or not, but like. It's actually amazing because, you know, environment is exactly how I've seen it in anime. And I've been into the video game worlds where, like, it's Assassin's Creed. So you can, like, literally customize your character and how you're going to look like. You can, you can choose if you want to be female, male, and, like, you know, then you can create, like, the whole world around you and climb all kinds of buildings and jump through, you know, like, jump from the top and stuff. Or for me, like, one of my favorite was Dark Souls and Bloodborne. And I was in that world, exactly. And... Uh, amazing part of that is that, you know, like, you, 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 if you play a game, or you watch the movie, or you've seen anime, and you see a little bit of it, and you know the surroundings, you can actually, when you're out of body, continue the world and create a whole lot more. So you're not limited in, like, your little surroundings and what you've seen before. You can, like, okay, this is what you've seen, and this is what you can create. Like, there's no limitations there. And that's pretty much fun. But you know, like you, you don't always have to move to the places that you've already seen. You can always create your own. You can like see, okay, uh, what would it look like if I was, let's say, if I had a mansion? And then you can create your own mansion with as many rooms as you want, decorating every single detail, putting every single item exactly how you want it. You can like you know, uh, customize absolutely everything. And you're sitting there and you're like enjoying and like, hmm, this blue color is old. I want a new one. Bam! And you can choose any color that you want and customize the whole room and outlook and stuff like that. And if you're like, okay, the house is cool, like, yeah, movies are cool, yeah, but I'm not interested, I want something better. Sure, possibilities are yours. You can create spaceships with as many rooms and everything and levels as you want, with as many beings and races in, in there. You can, if you're pretty much into learning more, you can create a whole universe where there's universities and libraries and stuff where you can learn a lot. And just because you create it, it doesn't mean that that information does not exist. Like, uh, the universe out there is like, it, it's like super huge. And whatever you create, and with that information, like, I'm not sure how to explain it like better, but you create a universe and you go into university and you pick, pick, pick any kind of book that you want. And you, you not necessarily have read it before or seen it, but you're like, okay, this book look, looks nice. 
You create that information, but at the same time, it exists somewhere in the multiverse. So you read the book and you get some information. And when you get back from out of body experience, you can bring back the information. So whatever you learn out there, you can bring, bring it back here. Now, there's a few things. It not necessarily will work because that is the technology or information from other world, but you will know it when you get back. Or you can be like Nikola Tesla. And he was the person who actually could get the uh, actual projection. And he mentioned like, you know, in, in, in his interviews and stuff that when he goes and he dreams, he's actually able to interact with other beings and stuff and learn and use their technology. And when he gets back, he just writes down what he learned from there. So you can be that person. You can go out. You can go into your own universe, you can create, uh, like, uh, you can go into someone else's universe, create as many things as you want, find any technology that you want, bring it back here, and use information to create it here, which is, like, amazing. Well, okay, if, that's, is, if that is so amazing, like, why haven't you done it, Aquila? Hmm, sorry about that, I have different priorities. Uh, I'm actually, like, I'm, I'm bringing back information from, about, like, different subjects. Uh, like, for me, I not necessarily want to get popular or create some new technology and stuff, though it would be nice, but my priorities are better and, like, I mean, better for me. And, like, I get information about how the universes work and, like, different kind of races and how you get out and not get trapped again and stuff like that. Like, that's the information that I like. But it's all up to you what you want to learn, what you want to, like, get there and bring back and use it here. So, anyway, there are no limitations here. I mean, like, out there when you're out of body, an amazing thing is that there is no pain. Like, whatever you will experience and whatever you can think of, you will not get hurt. Like, literally, I've been in that, like, Dark Soul game, and, I mean, like, in Obi Land, and I've created the universe, and there's fire, and I'm like, what would happen if I would, like, literally touch the fire? And my hand's burning, but I'm not feeling any pain. And it's like, smells like flesh. Hmm. Not and you, and you like pick up your hands like, oh damn, I see my bones. Like that's not good, you know. Like, but you can watch all the details without feeling any pain. And you're just looking at your hand like after the burnout and like, hmm, let's restore it. And you just restore every single detail, and nothing happened. You're fine. So for me, like, it's pretty fun because you can like just create any kind of scenario that you want, absolutely anything, from your wildest fantasies to your wildest dreams and stuff. Like whatever you can think of, you can live it. And that's the best part of Ubi's. You can get out and do everything you want. So anyway, that's just like my own experience. This is what I've learned so far. But if, if you're getting out of body, if you have loose dreams, please share your experiences. What do you like to create? What kind of universes do you like to go to? So that whoever's reading the comments and they read your experiences, they will learn more about it and get different perspectives. And um, whatever I experience is just my experience, my subjective opinion, like, I don't have to be right, and I'm, it's not like I know it all, it's just, like, my beliefs and stuff, but, yeah, so, please share your experiences so that others will get their opinion and stuff. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and have a nice day. Bye.